What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Your boy, the Dread Man, is back with an episode of Nerd Talk. Here to give you guys my review of Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Now, this is a spoiler-free movie review. I'm not going to give away any major plot points or anything like that, so I'm just going to briefly talk about the plot, the characters, what I liked, what I didn't like, and my overall rating. Now, of course, this movie picks up a short time after The Force Awakens, and... I'm going to say what everybody else is praising about this movie because a lot of people were unsure going into it because a lot of people thought that this was going to be a copy and paste of The Empire Strikes Back, you know, myself included. But here's the thing that I liked about it is that it, through all points of this movie, this movie is 2 hours 32 minutes long. There is a callback in this movie from every single Star Wars movie that came before it. I think with the exception of Attack of the Clones. But yeah, I mean, I could be wrong. Like I said, I've only seen it once. That's one thing that's you know I like about it, and um, also it's not as predictable as a lot of people think it is. There's a, some twists, turns, and a hell of a lot of curveballs that'll leave you going, "Oh, oh my God, I didn't expect that to happen." Like that's the thing is one thing that you know you, that you that will make you stick with this movie is the unpredictability of it. Well, it's not entirely unpredictable. Like some Star Wars fans, like hardcore Star Wars fans, they'll be like, "Oh, I seen that coming a mile away." But there is, there's going to be at least one or two shocker mom moments for the casual moviegoers and all the hardcore Star Wars fans. But anyway, movie starts off you know shortly uh, after the events of The Force Awakens. And the thing is, this movie, it has th one thing like a lot of people was criticizing about it is this movie juggles three different story arcs. The first one you have the Rey and Luke Skywalker story arc. You've got the Finn. Poe and that new girl character story arc, and you've got the Kylo Ren and um, Snoke story arc. Oh yeah, and this is the first time we actually get to see Snoke up close and in person, and he's a CGI character. And also, uh, people thought that he was going to be a rehash of Chancellor Palpatine slash Darth Sidious. He has some elements, but he's still his own character. And that's that's as, that's as deep as I can get into it without it being spoiler territory. But um. Luke Skywalker, you guys really will like him because he's old, he's broken down. He's got this, um, exp but the thing is, he's completely devoid of the Force. Like, it's been 35, 40 years since he's been last seen, well, which after, you know, after Return of the Jedi. So, he decided to go into exile for his own personal reasons, and you will see why, once again, I spoil territory. Now, as far as uh, Ray, I mean, you guys see this in the trailer. You know, she goes to him for she goes to Luke Skywalker for guidance, and of course, like all movies, he initially rejects training her for his own personal reasons in fear of he doesn't want what happened to all the other um, Jedi. He doesn't want her to gain this power and then be corrupted by the dark side. Now, the um, Finn story arc. Finn, he got re he's just now recovering from his battle with Kylo Ren, and he gets sent on a special mission to try to take out the all the fleets of the First Order. And that is that the thing is, a lot of people say that they don't like that part of the story because it kind of drags. I can kind of understand why, but the thing is, that's something that you really can't really complain too much about because it's like, hey, this is more character development. It's something that you have to build, so. I don't really see the big complaint about that. And, you know, the humor of the movie, like, especially with uh, BB-8 and uh, those little, um, those little penguin creatures, prongs, I forgot what the hell they're called. Chewbacca, he was hilarious in this, too. And the thing is, there's, there's a couple of, um, there's a lot of funny moments in this movie. Some of the jokes are intentional, but the thing is, the, what's, what makes this movie really funny, what gives the funny parts even, make you laugh even more, is when it's supposed to be serious and you laugh anyway. That's what makes it funny. Now, the Kylo Ren story arc. Now, he's supposed to be this dark, brooding, uncontrolled... Because, like, you know, because uh, most Sith Lords, they have this uh, cold, calculating attitude about them. But Kylo Ren is a different kind of Sith. He's this wild, untamable, uncontrollable, wildfire um, kind of a Sith Lord. And the thing is... When you're e when you're as evil as he is, and when you're as corrupted as he is, you can hurt everyone. Whether you're they, whether you can hurt everyone without you meaning to, whether they're good or they're evil. That's all I'm going to say about that because that's also in spoiler territory. But you see just a little bit of development in Kylo Ren as far as his you know story um or and as far as uh, his character. Um, the special effects. 
top notch. I will give the special effects, you know, top notch. And also the fights, the the, um, the lightsaber fights, and the um, overall choreography of all the combat in the movie. Also, top notch. Um, the only really complaints and gripes that I have about this movie is there's a couple, like you said, like the Finn story arc, like, you know, there's some funny spots. The thing is, there's a couple of dry spots. It's like, well, the movie is two hours and 32 minutes long. To be honest, you probably actually could have cut about 25, 30 minutes of the movie and you wouldn't even really pay that much of, much of attention. It wouldn't really be that big of a difference. But, um, hey, I guess, like, um, filler for this kind of movie is necessary because it'll leave you something to go back on and, you know, pick up something that you missed. So, I don't really have too much of a complaint with that. Um, I'm just interested in seeing where the movie is going to go from here. But, I mean, the action is over the top. And there is a lot of casualties. Like I said, I'm not going to say who lives and who dies or, you know, anything of that nature. But, you'll be, I mean, when the action happens, you'll be on your seat. And like I said, there's a lot of twists and turns. There's a lot of things that you don't expect to happen and they happen. And like I said, you guys will see it. So, I mean, just just be prepared for I me. Mean, expect the unexpected. And also, you'll get a couple of, you'll get a cameo or two from some classic Star Wars favorites. Once again, I'm not going to talk about that because that's spoiler territory. But, my overall rating for this movie, the action and the special effects, they both get tens. The story is linear, but I'll give the story probably about maybe an eight overall. Of the character development and the acting, I'll probably give that an 8.5 maybe. Um, and th th that's pretty much all I have to say. Well, my overall rating. I will give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. Casuals will like it. And uh, the thing is, hardcore fans might find a few gripes and complaints, but overall they'll enjoy themselves. To me, me personally, casual moviegoers might like this movie more than hardcore Star Wars fans. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I mean, I, I consider myself kind of in between because, you know, I'm a, I'm a Star Wars geek, so yeah, I, you know, I consider myself to be a hardcore Star Wars fan and a casual moviegoer, so I mean, on coming from both sides, I actually enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not the type to nitpick everything that I didn't like, and you know, because it, 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 because when you nitpick, that takes away from the overall theatric experience when you just go into movies trying to find something wrong with it just so you can pick it apart and analyze it. I mean, you know, just go to the movie, have fun, you know, have a good time and enjoy yourself. But overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. Anyway, that's the movie review, guys. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you saw it and what was your favorite parts in the movie. Anyway, I'm out, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.